Hello everyone, how's it going? It's your boy Sewer Waste, and this is going to be another story time commentary. This one's going to be about a house fire I had probably about eight or nine years ago, I'd say. I was in elementary school, so it's probably like ten or littler than that, I don't know. So I don't really remember much, uh, m many details. I remember the general thing, I remember how it all happened and everything, so I'm going to tell you guys about that. So I just started off normal day. And uh, this actually happened at night. It was middle of the night this happened. I don't remember exactly what time, but when I was little, you know, all I knew was it was the middle of the night. It was probably like 3 or 4 a.m. I, I don't remember because I went back to bed before I got up for school. But um, anyway, so we just, the day before was a normal day. We just went to bed, and um, I guess it was a stormy day, a lot of rain and stuff, and then... And we went to bed, and then we, like, woke up in the middle of the night to the fire alarms going off. You know, we were all kind of worried. We weren't really sure what was going on, but it was a stormy night. I guess uh, the weatherman was, like, cutting in on radio stations and... S or not radio stations, TV stations and um, all that jazz. And so the fire alarms were going off, and we all... I didn't wake up right away. My mom was running around the house. She was yelling, wake up, wake up. And by this time, there's smoke all over. Like, we sleep on the top floor. The middle floor is, like, our kitchen and living room and stuff. And in the basement, that's where I'm at now. That's, like, the gaming place. I don't know. Just kind of the hangout. And um, so we were all the way up top. It's, like, a two-story house with a basement. And so my mom comes running out and wake up. And she's opening everyone's doors, telling us to grab as much shit as we could. Because uh, we weren't sure what was go going on. And the smoke really wasn't too bad. You couldn't really tell from in our rooms. But you could kind of see it like out on the middle floor. Like we have a big banister overlook. And you can look down and you can see like the whole, almost the whole middle floor. And um, like we have a chandelier and stuff right there. And it's hanging down. So we have a big ceiling right there. But uh, we were like looking down and we could just see smoke. We were grabbing a pair of clothes because we were in our PJs. We weren't sure if we had to go to school the next day and all this. So we we just uh, we started grabbing our things. And then my dad was kind of, he was kind of adventurous and didn't really know what was going on. So he like opened the basement door and all of a sudden it was just like a big puff of smoke. It, like the whole middle floor filled up with smoke as soon as he opened that door. It probably wasn't a good thing, but we kind of, like, ventured down. You you couldn't see the bottom of the steps from the top of the steps. You know, steps are, like, 20 steps long. Each steps, you know, like 10 inches or whatever. So it's it's really, like, less than 10 feet, probably. And you can't see the, the smoke was that thick. And we, we couldn't feel heat or flames or anything, but I kind of, like, wandered down behind him. Because, you know, I was like, I was pretty little and I was like, whatever my dad's doing, I'm following him. So he he went downstairs to check it out. And uh, it turned out what happened was it was a lightning strike. Lightning, I guess there's a big storm and lightning flashed and hit into our electricity lines and turned off our whole power. And it actually blew up a computer that was in the other room down all the way down in the basement, right? kind of where I'm at sitting at right now and and so that was like the, the ceiling fell down we have like ceiling tiles and ceiling tiles like kind of fell in the roof kind of was caving in a bit like the, the floor was still fine but it was like the ceiling tiles and doors and stuff were all caving in we could see the the insulation kind of sitting sitting down and uh it was smoking pretty bad so once we saw that that's when we went got out of the house we shut the doors to hopefully stop it from spreading and stuff but um so we went over to our neighbor's house our phone lines didn't work this is kind of before i mean this is before like cell phones were big i guess i mean we still had cell phones but we didn't really think of using them we ended up we did call 911 on our cell phones but then we went over to our neighbor's house that lives right across the street. We're, we're pretty good friends with them, and we like knocked on the door, and it's middle of the night, so they had no idea. They're like, "Who the hell's knocking on the door?" And it took us probably five, ten minutes. This was, it was pretty cold, so I imagine it was like a cold spring morning, probably. And um, so we went into their house, 
And we, we like we just kept knocking till finally they got up and came to the door and they're like, "What the hell are you guys doing?" Well, we we told them and they're like, "Oh my gosh!" And they like call, they called nine one one as well in case they didn't get our call because they weren't here yet. And um, then we ended up having probably four fire engines all coming down the street. All the neighbors were waking up and coming out because they were all wondering what happened. Why there's four fire trucks sitting out front and um. You know, they all came in the neighborhood with their lights and sirens on, so everyone was kind of worried. They had their fire hoses out. And luckily, I mean, there wasn't really any flames. It was just a lot of smoke. No one really knew what was going on. And um, so neighbors came out. They they checked out the whole house. They climbed on the roof. And it turned out the lightning flashed. So it didn't it didn't put a hole in a roof, but that's what they were worried about. They were worried that it had a hole in a roof, but it flashed through our roof. I guess lightning can like blink, and it blinked right through our house into our electricity line. So checked it all out. The house was all okay. We ended up uh, that after they got the smoke out of our house, we ended up going back to bed for a couple hours. I remember that my neighbor, that whose house we went to, he was our age, and he ended up not going back to bed that day so he didn't go to school the next day because the house fire I thought that was kinda of funny because we all like it was our house and we went back to bed and at our own house afterwards and he didn't but anyways guys that's it for this uh... story time so please check out my channel youtube.com slash sewer waste subscribe follow me on twitter guys twitter uh... it's at sewer waste just my name guys uh... And that's really it, guys. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, subscribe to the show. I'll have a link in the subscription for that as well. I have all different story times of me. And I also have a couple other uh, shows you guys can check out. But that's it, guys. Uh, peace. Check out the tech game. And subscribe.